The temperature begins to drop. Health experts worry this flu season could be a rough one. CDC data shows Washington, D.C. is already reporting high levels of flu activity, and it's only the beginning of flu season. Wow, Nicole D'Antonio joins us now with a look at what is causing the spike and what you can do to keep you and your family safe. Good morning, Nicole. Hey there. Good morning to both of you ladies. Yes, we have everything you need to know. The CDC has a website where you can see exactly where this flu activity is a concern. So according to the most recent data, if we actually zoom into our area, you can see the District of Columbia. It is highlighted in dark red, indicating very high levels of flu. The Commonwealth is also one of the few states highlighted in yellow, indicating moderate levels. Now, researchers say if you live in one of these areas where the flu is starting to spread, then they recommend getting the shot as soon as possible. No call flu season is almost chill. here, but early numbers already suggest more cases this year than in years past. While the latest CDC numbers report high flu activity in both the Commonwealth and District of Columbia, health experts are also seeing an increase in flu cases nationwide. So why is this year different? Health experts point to relaxed COVID protocols. We're sort of in that lull between COVID-19 surges and folks are starting to relax a little and a little less careful with the way they might be doing things. Health experts say because of social distancing and mask wearing, the flu nearly disappeared during the pandemic. That means most people weren't exposed to the virus over the last two years and their immunity is down. Many doctors are now preparing for this flu season by paying close attention to Australia and other countries, which saw its worst flu season in years. We are probably going to anticipate we're going to see more cases this year uh, than uh, in years past. Meanwhile, a new vital signs report by the CDC shows that black, Hispanic and American Indian adults living in the U.S. are more likely to be hospitalized with the flu. On Tuesday, the CDC plans to hold a public briefing to address this new report and see what can be done to increase vaccination rates and prevent severe illness. And that CDC briefing is happening at noon today. It is open to the public, but again, to put this in perspective, typically the flu season does not ramp up until December and then usually doesn't peak until February. Of course, we are right now in the middle of October, but the good news here is that the flu shot is available. And if you live in the district, you can find that flu shot at any walk up COVID center. Nicole D'Antonio, WSA 9.